What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be pretty much adding a few more mods to the F10, trying to perfect all the issues, and just have that car perfect, you know? As for the front end, that car does have a sensor issue, it's beeping, beeping, all I have to do is take off the front bumper, which is such a pain, adjust the sensor, push in the sensor, you're good to go. Go ahead and take it out for a spin real quick, get some Chipotle. Wow, what is going on? This is like fire ash all over the car. Damn, what happened? Let's go ahead and put the 535 keys right here in the unnecessary hole, but whatever. Safety first, close the garage, put it in drive. Got a little ice cream truck chilling like a villain right there. Oh, and I just realized, I just realized I forgot my wallet. So uh, let's go ahead and go back and just get my wallet real quick. All uh, right, we are almost at Chipotle, boys. You guys, package acquired. So I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing in your area, but I think there was a fire near us. And uh, basically, there's really ashes flying everywhere. The car's getting super dirty. The air is super dirty. On top of COVID, this isn't looking too good. So anyhow, the last time I ate after, I worked on the car. I, I'm really hungry today, so don't mind me. Uh, I, I don't eat breakfast. I basically see Chipotle as my meal for the day, and then I just go on with the rest of the day. So I'm gonna head home. Just go ahead and chow down, and I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. And welcome back, guys. So I just got back from eating Chipotle. My brother's out here about to help me. So shout out to my brother. Um, so we have to do in today's video. We want to take off the bumper and just put a single overlay for this right now because this is pretty bad. This is pretty ugly. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can kind of fix this or overlay it or something because that's terrible. And we have a lot of uh, peel up right here. I don't like that either. The other headlight came out flawlessly. Uh, so I'm really happy with this side. It's just this side is just pretty ugly. So I want to I want to take care of that. Also, this sensor right here for some reason isn't reading right, so we're gonna have to figure that out. I really don't know why, it actually looks pretty good. It looks level, that's weird. If anything, I think this sensor isn't leveled, but we'll take it off, we'll reconnect it, we'll see what's going on, and we'll test fit the bumper and check if the sensors work. But as for now, you guys saw earlier, it's freaking out. So yeah, let's fix the sensors, let's fix some rapid imperfections, and just let me just make this thing look a lot better. No half-ass work around here. Alright guys, so we got the bumper off the car, so uh, it's quite a bit of imperfections from the t from the bottom angle, but it doesn't really matter. What we're trying to focus on right now is this area right here. It's just terrible, and uh, it just comes down over here. You guys can see this is pretty bad as well. It's just not looking too good. We put a little overlay here, which actually didn't come out to even be that noticeable, but I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut right around over here, all the way across, and have like a giant overlay right here. I think it's the only way it's going to work. I think, it's, I think that's how it has to go, right? Yep. So only like and then obviously if it comes out really bad We'll go ahead and just order a new piece hey guys. Here's the before and here is the after uh, Now a lot of you guys are probably not gonna be happy with me for this part I just overlaid it uh, because it had this line right here that I kind of went with and then over here There was no line so I just went ahead with the McLaren logo <laughs> uh, Kind of with like how this is angled I just right here The thing is if you did such a big piece that went all the way around like that it would have just looked so off well, if you look at it from the front end, everything looks perfect, but if you look deep into the corner, this kind of looks like a spot that's common to have flaws, and it just is, so I'm kind of okay with this, um, obviously, just until the new wrap comes in, so this is a lot better than it was, 100%. As for now, we're gonna look at all the sensors and just make sure they're all plugged in, because that one right there, let's hope to God that's not plugged in, because that one's just freaking out. All of mine, if you don't listen that much, some of y'all don't listen at all. Same shit they be pushing, yo. Now that you have the bumper completely removed and uh, we, we checked this sensor, everything looks good, everything checks out. I mean, this sensor I know is working, that one I know is working as well. Um, as for the harness, everything seems to be intact, nothing seems to be damaged. Again, this is a clean title, so I don't really expect any of these wires to be damaged. So at this point, I honestly just believe that, you know, maybe it needed to be disconnected and reconnected because everything seems fine. I'm really hoping. I moved this sensor, guys, by the way, over here. So worst comes to worst, we just disconnect this side of the bumper, we can get to this sensor uh, because getting to here with the whole bumper again and it's okay to be rich my mama always told me i was destined for a break all right guys so i guess moment of truth going to start up the car damn all right let's see now if the sensors are working yeah there's no red 
There's no beeping. Perfect, okay. Okay, okay, perfect. Hey, check that out, check that out, okay. I got a little bit worried when I saw yellow. I was like, wait, what? No, nah, no, nah, because it's actually next to things. Yeah. They're working, they're not broken. <laughs> they're just working. Yeah, so, dude, guys, look at both coppers showing back there. So you guys, if you guys can see the wheel, you can see the wheels on Copper Junior. But uh, that video, I'm working with Goodyear, so uh, we're just giving it a little bit more time for that to get approved. Once that gets approved, I can show you guys the new wheels and tires. But for now, that's a little sneak peek. All right, guys, so this is the next day, and I'm here with my natty shirt. My, my brother's like me taking the 535, and I'm gonna be taking the 435. We're gonna be heading down to the muffler shop. Uh, let's just make sure we got the tips in the trunk. We're actually gonna head down there. I'm gonna be installing a quad tip exhaust. I'm pretty excited about this. Yep, I got the tips right here, guys. I'm gonna be installing a quad tip exhaust, so this is gonna be pretty sick. We got the tips right here, so uh, let's get the job done. So yeah, guys, we are leaving the house, hopefully getting a quad tip exhaust installed in the 535. I don't really know if they're gonna be able to fit us in today. I tried going yesterday, they weren't able to. I told them I'd come today, I hope they can do it. I think it's time to hear some burbles, you know, so. Uh... Oof, straight up gunshots, guys. Gar so much ashes are coming inside the car. It's absolutely insane. This fire apparently started five hours from here and uh, it came all the way down here, which is absolutely crazy. Oh my God, guys, my windows are closed and this car sounded like it's gunshots. Oh my God. That's all right, guys, so we just made it here to the exhaust shop. Hopefully they got room for us. Hopefully they got room for the 535. So we're about to find out, I guess. So we just spoke to the manager. He's heading back right there. And uh, he looked at the, the mufflers and he's like, we're gonna have to move the mufflers, move back the mufflers, and then put on the quad tips. I was like, how much is that probably gonna run? And he's like, well, you have the wrong uh, quad tips as well. I'm gonna need one that's kind of like, uh, like a lowercase Y, not a capital Y, where it's like, it comes in like this and then it goes out and forward instead of one center that goes both ways. Uh, I hope I kind of explained it right. But yeah, so basically with the tips and the installation and everything, it was gonna come out to be around $400, $500 roughly just to make the tips quad. I don't see the car, I, I don't see it being worth spending four to $500. Um, I think I might try to do a couple things myself to reduce that price and maybe come back just for the welding. But as for now, that is that is too much for me, four and $500 uh, just to get the car to have quad tips, nah. Damn, I really was hoping to get quad tips today. I had the tips in my trunk, I had two different sets. He's like, none of these are gonna work, that sucks. These are obviously the work, but he's being honest. He's like, if, if, you give the, if you give me these tips, obviously they can make anything work, but the price wouldn't have been worth it because you need to adjust the mufflers. You have to readjust the piping behind the muffler. And then you have to get on the tips, test fit the tips. Like it's a process, it's an absolute big process because the way we set up the mufflers and these are Valtronic mufflers, the way we set them up was to basically be dual exit. So I'm gonna try to go online and find those tips he was talking about because that would save me a lot of money. But meantime, it is what it is, we tried. And that's what's important in life is the fact that we tried and we have no regrets, at least we tried. 